Hey loves and welcome back to my channel. Okay guys, welcome back. Today I am going to a party tonight. So I decided to just tell a story time while I get dressed or while I get ready. I asked my Instagram a little minute ago if I should tell this story and it was 100% yes. So I am going to tell you guys the story on how I lost my virginity. If you are family, please exit the chat right now. I will give you some time to click off this video right now, please. And thank you. <laughs> also, make sure you guys don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, go down in the description, follow all my socials, and be sure to check out my business pages. With that being said, let's get into this video. Can we just like get into my hair? I got it done the other day and it's cute, right? Okay. So I have only told like a couple of my friends this story um, <laughs> and it happened like a little minute ago. So I'm going to try to remember every detail to make sure that I give you guys all the goods. Okay. But just bear with me. So I'm going to give you guys a little backstory so that you can um, understand the story a little bit better. So this guy, um, he was somebody that I was communicating with. Like we would, mm, we would do things like virtually, but never like, you know, in person or whatever. This happened in the 10th grade and I was 16. And when I was in 10th grade, COVID had like just hit and Everybody was like quarantined and stuff and had to wear a mask and all that stuff. So our school had three options for you. You could either um, go in person, be on an AB schedule or be our vir virtual. So I was an all virtual student and I think he was too or either he was on the AB schedule, one of those. But this particular day, he went to school online. So when I was in 10th grade, I that was my first year on the varsity cheer team. So we had games Tuesdays and Fridays. Now this particular Tuesday, I remember I was um, in one of my online classes. I can't remember if it was the last class or the second to last class, but it was towards like the end of the day. And me and the boy, like we had streaks or whatever, so we would be like um, streaking each other all day and like testing through streaks and stuff. Nothing too major. So this day, um, like I said, I had a game this day. So he just hit me up and was like, you know, what you doing? Simple conversation or whatever. And you know, he asked if we had a game today. I was like, yeah, we do. And then he was like, well, do you want to do something before the game? And I was like, do something like what? <laughs> like, like, what are you talking about? Um, and then he was like, you know, you want to bow bow. <laughs> now, y'all, this stage in my life, I the only thing that I have done was like that's the only thing that I've done and I've only done it like once at this time once okay so I was not really experienced with anything not kissing not none of that okay none of that all of that was I don't know, new strange so said sure and the only reason I said sure was because for some reason at this age this time in my life I wanted to lose my virginity so bad and I, I honestly can't tell you why I can't I can't if you are a virgin 
keep keep it because it's, it's not worth it it's really not honestly especially if it's not with the correct person which this was not okay so i said yes and we started to like discuss what time and you know place or whatever if i am remembering correctly i think i had to be at the school by 5 30 this day um so i think we ended up meeting i want to say 4 30. he um you know we made that plan the plan was set in motion I got out of my last class at 3.15, so right after I got out of my class, straight to the bathroom and started shaving her. Okay, getting her nice and bald and ready. <laughs> and ready for this big step that we're finna take, okay? Made sure she was smelling wonderful, you know, like I, I was just getting her good, you feel me? Time comes and it's, close to 4 30 maybe like 4 20 ish 4 15 but i'm finna leave the house and y'all are probably thinking like how did you do this without your parents like knowing or being suspicious about anything well since i was a cheerleader and my parents already knew that i had to be um back at the school early before like the game started they probably wasn't even thinking anything, thinking anything of it at the time. And my mom had Life360, but I ended up finding a trick on Life360 that um, made it say that you were like somewhere when you were somewhere else. So it said I was at home and I could have been like in McCormick or something. Like that. I found that hack and I was like, bet. And my logic was, if she see the like 360 and it says I'm at home, you know, we good. If she comes home, she see my car not there, she call me and she'd be like, well, your life 360 says you're at home. I'm be like, well, something's wrong with that. I don't, I don't know why it says that because I'm, I'm at the school. That was my logic. Sorry, mom. Sorry, dad. <laughs> I'm like, at this point, I'm leaving. I'm leaving my house and he sent me his location so i put it in my gp in my gps and sometimes when somebody sends me their location and like i try to go to it my gps won't take me to the correct spot like it'll take me somewhere near the place but not to the exact location and that's what it did today well not today but that day <laughs> the gps ended up taking me um, to like this plaza that was next to where we were supposed to go, but I did not know that at the time. So um, I ended up calling him and I was like, um, I have no idea. Well, I know where I was, but I just knew that this this is not the place that, you know, we're supposed to be meeting, I don't know. So. He was like, you know, where are you? I told him where I was and he was like, okay, well, you're close by, so I'll just come and get you. I was like, okay, that's cool, that's fine. He ended up um, coming to get me or whatever, so he came to the car, I don't like the car or whatever, he got in and he told me the directions to the place that I was supposed to go. Now this place was actually like super close um, to where I was, so that's why I'm like, what is up with you GPS? Cause you could have you could have took me there. When we got there, like i've never been over there before we were like behind like a whole bunch of like little shops um like oh i need i didn't say it like about 50 times but you know where they like where the employees would park at the back of a store that they work at that's where we were like at the back at the back I think the plan was for us to do it in the shop. I guess it might have been his family member shop or whatever. He got out. <laughs> he went to the back door and it was locked. So whoever he was with at the beginning had already left. So 
so he was like, um, well, the door is locked, so we don't really have any place to do it. Um, you want to do it in the back seat? I said, of my car? Of my car? <laughs> Whoa. Like, I was, I was not expecting that at all. I ended up, you know, I was like, sure, I guess, since we don't got nowhere else to do it or whatever. We ended up getting in the back seat or whatever, and I am so nervous. Like, my heart is boom, boom, boom. Like, it's gonna explode out of my body. I'm not gonna lie. Like, he was, he was sweet about, he was sweet about it, you know? He's very gentle, because, you know, he knew that it was my first time, you know, doing it. I'm so nervous. I didn't put on some music. It wasn't even like like no sweet music. I think I put on like Pooh or something like what? <laughs> I just needed something to calm me down. Hoosa, 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 like what? So he was like, you want me to take my clothes off first? You want to take your clothes off first? Or you want us both to take them off at the same time? I said... You can take them off. No, no, I'll take them off. No, we can take them off at the same time. And that's what we ended up doing. I just took off my bottoms because, like I said, I had on my cheer um, top. And that thing is, like, hard to get off for me. Like, I got to do a lot of work to get that thing on. Like, it's not like, it's a struggle. I'm going to just say that. It's a struggle for me to get on my cheer top. So, <sighs> you know, we both... You know, the goods, the goods are out. The goods are out. He was like, this, had to get him like this. So, he asked me to throw that in it. <laughs> he asked me to throw that in it, so I threw that in it. <laughs> I can't. Uh, so, after we finished, you know, doing a little foreplaying, he was like, are you ready? And I was like, no. <laughs> and that should have been my sign to dismiss myself. But I said, no. Um, oh, he told me to lay down. <clears throat> so that's what I did. I laid down and he was on top. He, Like I said, he was really sweet about it. He kept on asking me like, if I was okay and stuff like that um, before he even put anything in you know he was like you ready I said no again I had to take some I had to tell myself like you got this and all like you can do this girl like you're a bad like you're a bad B you got this you got this you got this I had to keep telling myself that because <laughs> so Ooh, it's, it's time. It's time for action. Uh, of course, we were safe now. We were safe, I promise. He put it on. And he put a little bit in. Just a little bit. And he stopped and he was like, are you okay? And I was like, um, yeah, I'm okay. It hurts. I'm not gonna lie. It hurt. It really did hurt. It really, really did hurt, okay? But he kept doing that, like, three times, you know, like, putting a little bit in, asking me if I was okay and if he could put more in. Like, he kept doing that till it was all the way in. So I, I thank him for that because it made me feel relaxed and calm to know that, you know, he was going on my speed. Now, when he started, like, stroking it, it was hurting. It was hurting. It was but about like the third, third to fourth stroke, it felt really good. <laughs> it felt really good and I was really honestly enjoying, enjoying it. And I was, yeah, yeah, we were good. I was, I was enjoying it. I was enjoying it, I can't lie. Once I, you know, started enjoying it, we switched positions. Yeah, it was, it was, it was nice. It was nice. It was nice. After he, we put our clothes, <laughs> we put our clothes back on and 
we got ready to go now he was riding with me to the game so when i got to the school i ended up parking far away so nobody could see him get out my car and i waited a few minutes before i went in just to make sure that i had you know i was together and my head was in the right space and i was ready when i got in there now we had agreed to like not tell anybody i should have known that was a lie because i didn't want anybody to know was i embarrassed you can say that like not of the person just of my actions that you know i i did it you know like who would have expected that nothing so we got into the gym well i got into the gym and i walked to go meet my friend and i just turned my head I see him talking to a whole group of Negroes. So, turn my head again, and they all look at me at the same time. Like they had a best turn, y'all. And then they just look at me at the same time. I'm like, oh my gosh. He told him, he told everybody, he told everybody, he told everybody, oh Lord. Oh, so that whole game, I was just thinking like, oh my God. He told people, he told people. <laughs> He told me what he did. That's pretty much what happened. Um, I do regret it. I regret that I didn't wait. That I just went ahead and gave it to him because he wasn't. Mm, he's not really a, a nice person. <laughs> he's a. Mm, I'm not gonna speak on that, but I should have waited. So if you still, that's why I said if you still have your virginity wait baby i'm telling you please wait like it's it's gonna be worth it it's gonna be worth the wait i promise i'm gonna tell y'all this little part so after we did it that first time we started doing it a lot and we did it that friday that saturday my sister had um company and our cousin spent the night also so I took them, you know, we was just riding around. We went to a bunch of stores, Walmart, all that good stuff. And we ended up at Smoothie King to get a drink. I'm parked. And her friend, like, <laughs> finds the wrapper, a piece of the wrapper in the car. And I'm like, oh my God. I'm like, what is that? What is that? And why is it in my car? Oh my God. Like, like whose is that? Because it's not mine. <laughs> Y'all, please tell me why they saw handprints. Like, there was handprints on <laughs> Handprints, y'all. Handprints. How did I not see that? So, that's that's how my sister found out that I was doing it. <laughs> it's, it's not good. It's not great. It's not. But all of you would be pleased to know that I am celibate right now. I haven't did anything since March. Cause the next person that I do it with, I want it to be like special, you know, and not just another body. I want it to be special. I want that to be my long-term partner. You know, I can give y'all a lot of story times. If y'all want, if y'all want, I can give it. I probably will, cause I mean, why not? That is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching this video, sticking around, listening to it. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you go down in the description, follow all my social medias. And don't forget to check out my business pages. I am still taking orders on my business pages. Thank you guys. Love you all. Bye-bye.